Good morning, guys. So, um, I just woke up. Um, I'm about to go to the gym in like about 15, 20 minutes. Um, sorry. Good morning, guys. So, what's going on right now? Um, I just woke up about like 10, 15 minutes ago. About to go to the gym. Um, I had a really, really good cheat meal last night. I ate about like six donuts and a cinnamon roll because I was craving them so much lately. So, I just stuffed my face with them last night. I really enjoyed myself, so I'll show you them right now, but they were absolutely fantastic. I couldn't have enjoyed myself any more than I did, but right now I'm about to go off to the gym to train because I feel like the best way to outdo a cheat day, or any cheat meal I should say, is a heavy compound lift or just training super hard and super heavy the next day just to utilize what you ate yesterday. So, right now I'm about to go to the gym. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got back from the gym. Um, I had a super good session. Um, I trained back instead of legs actually because I'm supposed to go for a one rep max tomorrow for a front squat, so I thought it'd be a little silly to do that. So I did a really good back session. Um, I didn't go super, super heavy, but I did high volume at a moderate weight, so that was really useful and I had a really good pump in my back. Um, my pre-workout kicked in really well and everything just felt really good and then I did biceps to finish it out. And I didn't record everything we did, but I recorded most of it so you could see that. But it was super fun, and I just had a protein shake. So now I'll take you in on what I eat in a day post-crazy cheat meal, I should say. Especially after all those donuts. They were so good, but like, they're not great for you. But they did my body pretty well, honestly, in the gym today. And on composition-wise, I don't feel so bad either. But let's go to the first meal. First things first, right after my workout, I had a protein shake. My usual two scoops of chocolate soy protein, chocolate soy milk almond butter and oats and this guy today gave me so much almond butter but it tasted so good so I was like oh well so I had that and now I'm about to have my first meal so I will take you into the kitchen with me and we'll get that done together see you in the kitchen so the first thing I'm gonna have for breakfast today is gonna be my Tropica Ultra Cleanse just to help detoxify my body right now just especially from all the sugar I ate yesterday and all the fried food so I'm gonna have that first so I usually have about one heaping tablespoon and right now, I think that's all I have left in the bag. So I'm just going to finish it right here. So let's pop that all in there. Yeah. I'm so sad I just finished that. I absolutely love Tropica's products. Um, I have a bunch of their stuff. Um, they just actually came out with the new salted caramel flavor, so I'm hopefully going to order that soon. I need to do a giant bulk order because since it's coming from Australia and shipping it all the way to where I live, it's super hard and it's also super expensive, so I usually love to do bulk orders when I order from them. But honestly, protein source wise, they have some of the best vegan proteins I've had, especially blendability and flavor profile. Um, most, most brands have good products, but nothing compares to that. So change of plans. Instead of just having the Tropica Ultra Cleanse, I actually did that, mixed with some soy milk and I added spinach to have more greens to detoxify my body even more and give me some more of my daily micronutrients. And I actually, fun fact about me, um, actually not that fun because it's 
not a happy thing. I hate eating spinach. It's like one of my least favorite things. So I rather always just incorporate it in like a juice or a smoothie. And I find this was like the easiest way to get my spinach in for the day. So I can eat my other leafy greens and enjoy my other vegetables later on in the day. So I'm gonna drink this now. And then I'm torn between breakfast, breakfast, like my actual first meal. I'm gonna have like a tofu scramble with vegetables on like a piece of toast or just over like a bed of greens or if I'm gonna have oatmeal. I'm gonna see how I feel after drinking this because sometimes like this conquers my sweet tooth on top of my protein shake that I had earlier. Um, but yeah, so depending on how I feel after this, I will let you know what I eat for breakfast. Okay, so I finally decided what I wanted to eat for like, well now brunch. It was supposed to be breakfast, but I was like, I wasn't hungry after my other shake, so um, for brunch I'm having a tofu scramble on two pieces of toast and I'm probably gonna mix up some like red peppers and some mushrooms, turmeric powder, um, some of that and maybe some seitan for more protein. But let me show you what I'm doing right now. Go back into the kitchen where everything's being cooked. Oh my God, there's no light in here. <sighs> Jesus. So yeah, my dad made eggs earlier just for like him and everyone else. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want something like kind of eggy. So I'm gonna have my signature tofu scramble. And that's what it looks like. Honestly, for like a tofu scramble, it's really good. Like, it's really, really good. Like, and I honestly think the secret um, to making my tofu scramble taste extra good is black salt. It doesn't smell very flattering, but honestly, it's the best thing I've ever had to season my tofu with to make it taste more eggy, because I used to love eating eggs. But obviously, since I went vegan, um, I can't eat them anymore. I don't feel comfortable eating them or even cooking in the same stuff as them. So I usually season it with this, turmeric, nutritional yeast, salt, pepper, um, onion powder, a little garlic, and maybe some like everything bagel seasoning and feeling fancy, but that's pretty much it. And I'll show you everything when it's all done. So this is my breakfast. So I put it all over toast my tofu scramble and about to drizzle on my favorite add-on to everything in the world. And now I'm using the Heinz no sugar added ketchup and it's delicious. It's a little bit more vinegary. Throw it all on there. And yeah. I'm about to eat dinner right now and I got um, a bowl full of brown rice, edamame, kale, mushrooms, avocado, and some soy protein and a side of vegetable dumplings. And I'm super excited because it's from my favorite vegan vegetarian friendly place. And I'm super excited to jump right into dinner because I haven't really ate like too, too much today. So yeah, can't wait to eat. So I just realized while I was in the midst of finishing my video that I never really recorded a proper outro. So I just wanted to say that's pretty much all I ate that day. And that it was a pretty like simple day of eating only because I ate a lot of junk the day before. But honestly, I enjoyed myself that day. I ate really well the next day, and honestly, I felt fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If not, don't. I won't make you do anything you're not comfortable with, obviously. But um, yeah, so love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.